So 10 things that you can do to feel prettier today. This isn't necessarily about product or anything like that. And it isn't about looking prettier to other people. This is actually what makes you feel better yourself. What you can do in a day that might contribute to better self-esteem, might just make you feel better through the day, kind of pamper yourself through the day. So like I said, not necessarily about what everybody else sees, although everybody else will see this come across as more confidence because you feel better about yourself. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here as a part of our YouTube family. Family, so welcome and thank you so much to my regular subscribers for being here if you wouldn't mind please hit the thumbs up button that really does help me out a lot so let's get into the 10 things that you can do that are very easy to make yourself feel prettier today so the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is do a facial now what a facial does when you're not feeling good it's so relaxing so I'm talking about you know washing our face cleansing your face and then doing a mask you know whether that be a sheet mask that you put on or whether it be just a mask that you put um, over your face or maybe even an exfoliating treatment maybe an AHA BHA peel or a, a very soft scrub that you can do on your face your face is gonna feel so soft out after that and you're gonna feel really refreshed after that I will list down below a few products that I enjoy when I do some of these things some of my very favorite products and you can always go over to my Amazon page and find some of my Really favorite products that's linked down below too and those products will be able you'll be able to get some ideas on kind of what I'm talking about but I'm not like I said talking about any specific product you probably already have all of these products already okay along the same lines as of that is doing a body polish whether that be in the shower or whether it be taking bath now taking a bath can make you feel pretty anyway because it's really relaxing and you're you know sitting in there and you're just kind of soaking up the water maybe putting some Epsom salts in there and kind of making your achy bones feel better but doing a body polish actually can make you feel pretty just because you're actually stimulating your lymph glands um, any anytime you're doing a rubbing sensation on your skin it's stimulating the blood supply to get to the top and along with that I find that body polish shaving and moisturizing kind of all goes hand in hand when my legs and uh, other parts of my body are shaved and I moisturize and I feel really soft, I feel prettier and I feel like I have a little bit more confidence. I don't know what that is other than it just is a really good feeling to kind of do a lot of self care there. So that is my second idea is possibly do body polish, shave and moisturizer. My third idea is do a mani-pedi. Now, this one is one that a lot of people are like, oh, I don't have time for that. I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna do that. But this is something you can do while you're sitting in your bed or watching television or anything like that. And I'm telling you, when your fingernails are polished, it just makes you feel better. And plus, I keep mine polished because mine are brittle and they break if I don't. And when I do my toenails, I have a tendency not to do my toenails clear through the whole winter because nobody sees my toes. But I know that when I am doing my fingernails, if I do a pedicure too, I just really feel a lot prettier. I don't know why. It's just one of those things that makes you feel more feminine, makes you feel like you're kind of more put together. And I really enjoy doing my own manicures. And I have a lot of products that are really good for manicures, especially one, and I didn't bring it in here, but it's a quick drying product where you just put a drop on um, a minute after you have applied your fingernail polish. And within seconds, everything's dry. It saves me a ton of time and I don't feel like I, you know, mess up my manicure. So I'll make sure that I do list that one down below as an instant dry uh, nail product and I think you'll really like that one too number four is spend some time on your hair now this is one that I am so guilty of even though when you guys see me on camera I, my hair is usually always done on days off I like to let my hair rest because I do have a really fine and at times very dry hair so I like to let it rest and I'm really conscientious about not putting heat on it so I end up pulling my hair up the nice thing about it is if I do my hair one day the next day I'm gonna still have a little bit of a bend in the ends of my hair and when I pull it up it's not so bad so I can do a messy bun or something like that but I always try really hard to do something with my hair almost every day 
because it tends to make me feel better. Now, whether you like to wear, you know, a slicked back hairdo with your hair pulled back or whether you have short hair, just spend a little bit of time on it. Use a little bit of dry shampoo, maybe a little bit of hairspray and just do something with it. I find that if I do, and even on days when I don't wear makeup, if I do and I look in the mirror, I still feel like my hair is presentable if I have to go out or if there's people that come over or even, you know, looking in the mirror as I walk past it to go to the bathroom every day. So spend a little bit of time on your hair and that might even include, you know, doing a deep mask while you're doing your facials because your hair needs that kind of treatment just like our skin does it needs constant upkeep anything that's worthwhile has to have some upkeep so maybe do a mask a treatment something like that on your hair spend a little bit of time on your hair and it'll make you feel prettier for the day number five is smell good or don't smell at all now this one I really love because you know we want to keep our bodies clean that makes us feel prettier but also a lot of us have our favorite fragrance and we think well I can only wear that fragrance when I go out somewhere. It's for a special occasion. But if you have a tendency to have chronic pain or you're in your house a lot, why not? I mean, you know, it sits there for a long time and some fragrances can go bad after a year or two. So you might, might want to think about just using it up. I sometimes spray a little bit on my bed sheet that's below my pillow, not on my pillow, but below my pillow just to kind of make myself feel better through the day. I spend some days with chronic pain and there are times when I just don't feel good enough to do all of those other things, but, but a fragrance can really lift my spirits. It just smells good. It makes me feel better. Um, lavender is one that is really calming. Peppermint is a very invigorating uh, fragrance. So if you're into essential oils, you can just get a little bit and put a couple drops on your sheets. Those kind of things can really make a big difference. So when I say smell good or not smell at all, if you're somebody that is very sensitive to fragrance, you don't have to smell, you know, use any sort of a fragrance. But don't smell like body odor either. Make, make sure you're getting good hygiene, which goes into the other things we were talking about. Make sure you're getting your shower. You're, you're gonna like yourself. You're gonna feel prettier if you just feel clean and fresh. Number six is whiten your teeth. Now, years ago, I mean over 10 years ago, I discovered Crest White Strips, and those can be pretty pricey, but now we have all kinds of alternatives. There's the generic brands. They work just as good. My teeth were so dingy and so yucky that I was not really smart smiling as big as I do now. But now my teeth are really white and I just use plain old Crest White Strips still or the bargain brand of those. And it seems to do the trick. Now, I'm not saying that that's a substitute for going to your dentist and getting your teeth cleaned because that's how you get your teeth the very, very whitest, but you can do these treatments at home. So for me, I feel prettier when I'm able to put across my smile. And the, the way that I feel really comfortable doing that is to whiten my teeth. So so another way to feel prettier today would just be to do a couple of those white strips across your teeth and whiten your smile. Number seven is wear your favorite color. I enjoy purple so much. It's one of my very favorite colors. Recently, I have been getting more kind of into a blue teal mode, but wearing purple, I gravitate towards it. So many things in my home are purple. When I put purple on, I feel just prettier. I feel like my mood is lifted. It's my favorite color. So it doesn't really matter what your favorite color is. If you have that top or you have some jewelry or something like that, put that on for the day. Even if it's a special occasion top, um, of course you wouldn't wanna wear your finest silks or anything if you're staying home, but wear your favorite color. If Doing that is going to make you feel happier in turn, which makes you feel prettier. Wearing our favorite color can make us very joyful and it can stimulate our senses. Different colors can stimulate different senses and make us feel calmer. Blue is a very calming color. So uh, my suggestion is to definitely wear your favorite color, whether it just be an accent piece of jewelry or whether it be a shirt, pants, a pair of socks, or your favorite bra, whatever in your favorite color. So is do a five minute meditation. This one is so important for me because I can get to feeling so stressed during the day that I feel like sometimes I can't even breathe. And what's really important for me is that I just take a moment and I relax.
And so what I will do is I will do purposeful meditation. This isn't meditation where you just let your body go and you don't think about anything. This is purposeful five minute meditation of gratitude. And so I will lay on my bed, sit in the couch, sit back, put my head back, try to relax my head. And I will start from the top of my body or the top of my head and I will purposely try to make everything relax. And that starts with my facial muscles, my eyes, everything. And I want to just tell myself to kind of sink into whatever I'm on, whether it's my bed, whether it's the couch, anything like that. Just sink into it with your eyes closed and kind of just go through everything. And as you tell yourself to quietly relax, you can have some soft music on if you want to. You don't have to have music on, but it's your time. So try to continue to talk positively. If negative thoughts or even thoughts that have something you have to do in the day come into your mind, try to push those off and go back to the relaxation of purposefully making each part of your body relax. And you'll find that by the time you get to your toes, you are so relaxed that you don't want to get up. So you may even take another five minutes, but it is a really great way to rejuvenate through the day. I find that if I'm really, really exhausted, sometimes I end up taking a little cat nap right where I am. And that is can be really kind of nice to have a little power nap. If you need to set a timer, you can. Sometimes if I set a timer, I feel like I'm thinking about, well, how much more time do I have? How much more time do I have? But I've really gotten into the habit to where I can really realize almost what five minutes is. Sometimes if I fall asleep, I recognize that my body needs that little bit of added care. So I will take that opportunity to just take a 15, 20 minute nap and it really does rejuvenate me. So five minutes of meditation can be a huge factor in making you feel prettier because it's going to give you more life. It's going to make you feel more calm, more relaxed, more rejuvenated. Into number nine, which is wear some jewelry. And I have found that if I go out somewhere, even if I'm going to the grocery store and I put a pair of earrings on, I feel dressier. Or I put my favorite rings on, of course, I wear my rings 24 seven, these particular rings, because they are my favorite and they have great meaning to me. But if you put an extra piece of jewelry on, say it's a pair of earrings or it's a pretty necklace or anything like that, you're gonna feel a little bit more dressy. And so my suggestion is definitely to just pick up your favorite earrings and put them on. Sometimes they can be a little stud, sometimes they can be a hoop, whatever makes you feel a little spicy, a little pretty that day. Those kinds of things can definitely lift you up and make you feel prettier for the day. And my number 10 is is what would my channel be without without saying wear makeup? Even a little bit of makeup in any given day can make you feel a little prettier. I have terrible struggles with having dark circles all the way around my eyes, almost like raccoon eyes. And so I find if I put just a little bit of concealer on and you know do it around my eyes, put mascara on, a little bit of blush, and do my eyebrows, some lip gloss. I know that seems like a lot when I'm saying it, but just a little bit will go a long way to help you feel prettier and feel better about yourself. And even if you're gonna stay home for the day, most of us, if we're watching my channel, we have a lot of makeup. It's easy to just get caught up in thinking of buying makeup, but using it and using it up can make you feel so good. And makeup application doesn't have to take a long time. For me, it's very soothing. It's almost like my hobby. It's like a creative outlet for me. So that's why I do my makeup every day. And I find on the days that I'm just feeling really rotten and I spend my whole day in bed and I haven't done any of these things, especially makeup, not washed my face, done anything, I feel really crappy by the end of the day. But if I've done a little bit of something, I put a little bit of makeup on, I have put worn my favorite color, I've done the fragrance, something from this list, then I feel much prettier, I feel more presentable, and I feel like a better woman all around. And that projects to my family, even if I don't see anybody other than my family. And even if you live alone and you don't see anybody else through the day, you feel prettier yourself. You feel like you have more confidence. You might feel like getting up more, maybe taking a little walk out to the mailbox 
or taking a walk around the block. Those kinds of things can really add to our self-confidence, our own feelings of how pretty we are, which, you know, beauty is within. But if we can lift ourselves up, make ourselves feel better, then other people will see that too and be more attracted to us. So I hope that you did enjoy these 10 tips that can easily make you feel better today. Very easy things, things that I am sure that you have around your house. By the way, my jewelry, my earrings, I don't, I, you probably couldn't see those very well. They're kind of a rose gold color. And my top, I can all link today for you and my nail polish. So I will make sure that I link all those for you today. And if you wouldn't mind making sure that you tell me in the comment section below what makes you feel prettier in the day or more confident in the day. I would love to hear those tips from you that you have, if, be it part of makeup, be it part of anything, skincare, hair care, just what you do, you know, something where you're pampering yourself, something where you're feeling good about yourself. So thank you all so much for watching with me today. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you did enjoy seeing these quick 10 tips that you can do to make yourself feel prettier and more confident in the day. I love you all so very much. Please take care of yourselves and I will catch you all in my very next video. Bye you guys.